Good morning, beautiful people. So recently we have been showing a lot of videos of Dustin helping do a bus build project. Currently he is helping with a roof raise and he's out working and doing all of these things. And some of you have been wondering, what exactly is it that Tanya does? So today I wanna show you, I wanna take you into a day in the life of me and show you exactly what it is that I do living bus life in the midst of all of the things. So one of the first things that I do as soon as Dustin leaves to go to work is clean up the bus. I spend probably about 30 minutes to an hour to completely clean up our bus and get it back to a livable space. the vacuuming is all done, the house is clean. Now I get ready for myself. So the first thing that I do is brush my teeth. We use this Hello Brand activated charcoal and it has no fluoride in it. It's made with fresh mint and coconut oil. We've been using this toothpaste for about a year now and I really like it. And then the next thing I do is wash my face with some Dr. Bronner's. Um, just to kind of wash away every little piece of dirt and grime from being in different elements and I like to start my morning with a fresh clean face so I use Dr. Bronner's because it is uh, biodegradable and it's supposed to be really good for your skin and you can use it for multiple different purposes so we use ours for dishes for body wash for all sorts of different things and then the next thing that I do is I always put some sort of a moisturizer on and lately I've been using some coconut oil. Um, it doesn't take very much. I just use a little tiny dab. I'm kind of running out in this jar, but I take just a little bit and let's put some of that back and I just rub it around in my hands, kind of get it nice and warm and it kind of liquefies it a little bit better. And then I just apply it lightly to my skin. For me, I found this is a perfect moisturizer for my skin. Um, it doesn't usually cause me to break out and it feels really lightweight and not greasy. So I definitely feel a lot more refreshed. So the next thing that I like to do, and this isn't usually every day, just every once in a while, I feel like putting on a little bit of mascara and some eyeliner. Just something about it makes me feel good. So um, I usually use the Maybelline uh, Lash Sensational and just put a little bit on top and bottom um, and just enough to make me feel like a woman. Also, I use this little mirror. This is the only mirror that I have in the bus. So I make it work for me so I can adjust it however I need to. And then I just stand on this little platform here and that's my mirror. Now one of the downsides of living in a bus and not having your bathroom all the way complete is that we are limited on showers. So currently we are staying somewhere up in the mountains about probably 20 minutes from town and so we're not showering on a regular basis. Which means sometimes as a girl your hair gets really greasy. So I have found to use baby powder. Um, 
Not only does it help soak up the grease in your roots, but it also helps your hair smell really nice in between washes. And it gives it a little bit of texture as well, so it's easier to kind of style and it doesn't look so bad. So there's only one thing left to get myself ready for the day. Much better. Now the next order of business is to get to work. That means first things first, it's time to feed Lucy. Um, something I don't do every single day, but this day I decided that I wanted to make some sourdough bread. So I'm trying to make sourdough bread usually about once a week, maybe every like twice a week. Um, just to kind of keep a feel for it and the repetition to get better and better at it. So today we're going to make some sourdough bread on top of everything else. Um, again, it's not a normal thing that I do, but, um, let's dive in. So now it's time to feed Lucy. <clears throat> I separated the starters and now I'm just mixing the water and the starter together to kind of blend it as good as I can. All right, so next I'm going to add 100 grams of flour. Now that that's all poured in, I'm gonna mix it real quick get this nice and blended. So now that Lucy is all mixed together, we're just going to pour her in a container. All right, voila. Lucy is fed. Now I'm just going to make some sourdough bread. So now that I have all my ingredients combined into this big bowl, I'm just going to mix everything up and then let it set. Um, <clears throat> until I'm ready to bake. The dough is all mixed up. I'm gonna put a lid on it um, and let it sit. I have to work with it a bit throughout the day until it's ready to bake, but for the most part, the hard work is done. So the next thing on my list is to read. And Dustin and I have a very small collection of books. Uh, we do have some on our Kindle, but there's something about a hardcover book or a paperback book that I really, truly enjoy. Something about just flipping the pages and maybe just the smell of the pages. I don't know what it is, but I personally prefer to have a paperback copy. And currently I am reading The Mastery of Love by Don Miguel Ruiz. It is a wonderful book. Like I said, we don't have very many books on our collection currently. So if you have any good books that you recommend, please share it in the comments below. I would love to hear your feedback on things that you like to read that maybe I could pick that up as well. So on top of everything else that I do throughout the day, the other thing I have to do is work. And my work may be a little bit different than what Dustin is doing currently, but all of the videos that you're watching, including this one, I create those. I put them together in Adobe Premiere Pro, I edit them, I get them scheduled so that way they can come out on time for you guys. That is just a small fraction of what I do for business. So we also run an online nutrition company where Dustin and I help coach clients into living healthier lifestyles. And so while he's out and about, I take care of some of our clients, answer emails, questions, comments, and just make sure that everything is staying at a steady flow, a steady pace, so that way we can keep things on track and keep our business running smoothly. So by now, usually Dustin is ready for lunch, and we kind of ate breakfast a little later than normal, so today he is getting a granola bar and a banana. Here you go, love. Thanks, babe. One of the things that I like to do where we are is if there's dogs around, like this cute guy, I like to throw their toys and play with them. Ready? In the afternoons, I generally like recently to go for a walk. So 
Dustin and I have mentioned in several of our previous videos how we're doing 75 hard again. Um, so one of the things that I have to do is get a workout outside and I generally like to take mine in the afternoon. Um, it gives me a little bit of time to just kind of recoup and recollect my thoughts, take a break from anything and truly just enjoy what is around me. It's kind of like my own meditation, uh, my own little therapy session, I like to call it. So we're out in the middle of California, up in the mountains, and I'm gonna enjoy this walk. All right, so now that my walk is finished, now it's time to kick off these shoes and get back to work. All right, so now is the time where Dustin is usually getting off of work. And when he's done, that's when I try to wrap things up and be done as well. That way we can spend time together, whatever it may be. Usually he likes to be the one who cooks dinner. He loves cooking, but today's a little different. Today we are not gonna cook dinner because we just got invited to eat some vegan chili with our friends Wes and Jen. So I'm gonna wake up this bread and bring it over. Well, sometimes things don't go according to plan. <sighs> I was midst baking my bread in the oven and all of a sudden, 30 minutes into it, we ran out of propane. So, this is where we end. This is where I say goodnight and um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, a day in the life of me and got to see exactly what it is that I do while Dustin is out there building buses and roof raises and all of the things. So if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up be sure to leave some love in the comments below. And as always, subscribe for more content if you'd like to see more of us. We'll see you on the next one.